Dear brothers and sisters in Christ, Today we celebrate the solemnity of the Immaculate Conception of the Blessed Virgin Mary, solemnly commemorating the dogma of the Immaculate Conception, in which we believe that Mary, the Mother of God, was conceived without sin by Saint Anne and Joachim. The story of the Virgin Mary in the history of salvation is unique in every ramification. Harris exemplified in a fascinating way what the power of God can affect in the life of those who trust in Him. Through her, God expressed His love for humanity at that very moment when the Son of God consented to the will of the Father to inaugurate the era of salvation definitively by the power of the Holy Spirit. Mary was first made manifest the sublime effect of the merits of Christ, for which she was exemplationally honored by God. So may our keeping of the one whom God first kept bring us to participate in the same honor. Since the beginning of the Church, the Blessed Virgin Mary has been regarded as the holiest and the most blessed of all disciples. The celebration of the Immaculate Conception began in the 7th century under the title Conception of Mary by Saint Anne. It was changed to Immaculate Conception with the definition of the doctrine in 1854. We can say that the Immaculate Conception was the beginning of our salvation and is now one of the central doctrines of our faith. Because of this, we celebrate this day to highlight the critical place Our Lady has in salvation history. The doctrine of the Immaculate Conception, defined by Pope Pius IX on December 8, 1854, states that The Most Blessed Virgin Mary was, from the first instant of her conception, by a singular privilege and grace granted by God, given the merits of Jesus Christ, the Savior of the human race, preserved exempt from all stain of original sin. The doctrine of the Immaculate Conception places Our Lady before the faithful as an example of what God can do and what we can do if, like Mary, we put ourselves in God's hands and at God's service, always open to what God asks and always seeking to fulfill God's will. It finally reminds us that if we cooperate with God's grace, as did the Blessed Virgin Mary, we can lead a life as free from sin as is humanly possible. Today's feast reminds us that we have someone we can look to and be inspired by in our efforts to respond to the Lord's choice of us and His call to us, His searching love. Mary, the mother of Jesus, is also our mother. She knows the power of sin and what it can do to human lives. She saw what it did to her son. She surrounds us with her intercession and prayer so that we can become the human person God desires us to be. That is why we can ask her with confidence to pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen.